Hello there, we are moving on to building out the UI for a social media application and I am pretty sure that a lot of you guys are excited, especially looking at the view counts on my uh, what, two most recent videos, that is for the social media backend and then for the e-commerce store backend and I just want to say I appreciate everybody for streaming and getting me to a thousand views yeah i really appreciate it and then the number of subscribers that i had like a really increased boost i really appreciate the love and the engagements that i've been given so uh, without wasting much time i would want to get into the ui point that a lot of people have been asking me for all right so i'm basically going to cd into the client really quick and then i'm going to say npm create Vits at latest and then I'm going to bring my dot slash that is going to create the Vit app inside the root of the client folder so I'm just going to hit enter and then we should be creating our Vit application I'm going to select react and JavaScript for now to so npm i so what I'm going to do to install all the dependencies okay uh, while that is being installed let us try to clean it up we do not need these ones we do not need these ones we do not need these ones yeah I'm going to clean up these ones as well to clean up these ones as well for now we don't need these ones to for now and uh what else i'm gonna go into this side i'm gonna clean it up real quick anyway, i'm gonna clean that up real quick now what else are we gonna clean up okay this is perfectly okay my let me check my app css yeah i'm gonna clean this up also i'm gonna clean this up also so uh inside okay so the the packages have been installed okay we are going to use still when to style okay I, I, I think we can uninstall this one as well yeah so we are basically going to use tailwind to style our application so what, what what we are going to do is i'm going to go into chrome and i'm going to search for the tailwind Docs, okay and then it's going to open up like this and as it opens up I'm basically going to go into the installation and then uh, I think I'm gonna find it difficult I'm going to find it hard getting the installation from here so I'm just gonna say tailwind docs for Vite react and then I think the first link should take me there okay 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 so we are here okay so what we are going to do we've already done this part and then we, we just move on to this part so i just copy that i'll go back to my vs code and then i would i'll just paste it right so i'll just paste and then enter so after entering we should see that being initialized i'm going to go back onto the website and then i'm going to make the change so over here i'm just going to have to copy this section okay and then I'm going to go back to my VS code and it's going to have to create a tailwind file for us and then that is where we're going to do the changes with uh, is it just me or I'm not seeing it here okay so yeah it's it's here then I'm, I'm going to replace that okay now that we've been able to replace that let us go back and see if we have any more changes yes we do i am copying this one and i'm going back to my vs code i'll go to the index.css i'm going to paste this and what else i'm going to go back and then check okay it looks like everything has been set up so how do we test this let us first of all let us first of all go into our app dots yeah gsx and i'm going to just give like a div element inside here div element in here okay then okay then over here i'm just going to type 
maybe this quick each one saying hello this is the neural feed okay so now that we've been able to set this up we can just start by saying npm run dev okay so i just have to hold control and click on this then it should open up our projects in here for us mm, let us see okay hello this is the new feed okay okay cool now that we have now that we have it here I let's say we don't like the font so let's go to Google fonts okay we've already installed this so I can just say Google fonts and then we can try to browse new fonts as we can see here okay let us go through mm, Roboto Roboto I think I like this one called Montserrat yes 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 so I'm gonna get the font uh, I think yeah, okay it's okay it looks like the UI has changed a bit so I'm gonna click on view I'm gonna click on view. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm wondering why it's not opening. Let me go back. I'm gonna go back real quick, and then, and then. Uh, okay, I'm wondering why it's not. I'm gonna go here. What? Okay. <laughs> Finally, I've seen it. All right, so what we can do is we can copy this code here use the link right now instead of import and then we'll go into our index.html and then i'm just going to paste it in here okay now that we have it pasted in there what do we do next uh yeah it pretty much should be able to work after we set our fonts family right so what we can do right now is go back into this one and then inside the head we can write our style and then inside the style we bring our star key I think my star key seems to be a bit decoded I'm just going to search for it okay so I think I found it okay so so for the star key it allows us to select all elements then inside I am going to say font family and then place my Montserrat in there so if we go back into our browser and our project we should be able to see that it has changed thank you very much for getting to this point of this tutorial when it comes to the VIT application setup in the next tutorial we are basically going to move on to uh, the nav bar the top bar and basically the elements in there thank you very much like and subscribe so that you don't miss the next part bye